Welcome to the channel, I hope that you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a stop loss on the BitGet Spot Exchange. If you get some value out of this video, don't forget to leave a like and hit subscribe. I also have plenty more BitGet tutorials in the playlist on my YouTube channel, so feel free to check those out as well. Let's get into the video. First, we need to choose a price point that we wish to set our stop loss at. And in this particular situation, maybe we're looking at this wick right here. Maybe we're thinking to ourselves, you know, if price action begins to retrace, and starts getting below this area, that perhaps it's going to become probable at that point in time that price is just going to simply continue to the downside. So let's go ahead and mark that wick with a horizontal. I'll grab it from the tools right here and I'll stick a horizontal on the chart, something like this. Good enough for this demonstration. Now we'll come down here to the order panel and we'll toggle over from limit to trigger orders. Then over here on the sell side of the order panel, you can see that we have the option to do this as a trigger limit order or if we click on this little box, we can set this up as a trigger market order. For a trigger market order, you'll pay a little bit more in fees, but these are the easier ones to set up, so I'll start by demonstrating with this first. Now we need to type the price point of our stop loss into trigger price here. Of course, we can see that price point on the y-axis of the chart coming in at 23,879. Let's go just a little bit below that. So let's come down here, we'll go 23,800. If price action hits this price point, our coins will be sold at the best available price off of the order book. Now we need to choose the amount of the coins we wish to sell if our stop loss gets hit. We can see our available balance right here. And for this demonstration, I'll just go ahead and set this to sell all. So we'll go not point not not three three. Once you have this set up the way that you want it, you just simply click on sell BTC. Then you'll get an order confirmation pop up window here letting us know that this is a trigger order as intended and that our trigger price is 23,800. If price action hits that price point, our coins will be sold as a market order, so the best available price off the order book and we'll be selling not point not not three three BTC. If this all checks out the way that you want it, you just simply click on confirm. Now we've placed that stop loss. If price action begins to retrace and hits our stop loss just below this horizontal, our coins will be sold as a market order. You can find the details of this order if you come down here to where it says open orders and then click on trigger orders. And here's where you can find your stop loss. If at any point you want to modify this, you can just come over here on the right hand side and click on modify. Then you'll get a pop up window here where you can adjust the price of your stop loss and you can even change the market order as well as how much of the asset that you wish to sell. Then you just simply click on confirm. If you want to cancel this order, you can do so by clicking on the cancel button underneath operation. As you can see, I just removed that stop loss. So that's how you set up a stop loss using a trigger market order. Now I'll show you how to do it with a limit order. So we'll come up here to our order panel and we'll move this from market order over to limit order. And you can save a little bit on fees by using this order type. So the first thing we need to do is type in our trigger price. This is going to be the price point that tells BitGet to place a limit order to sell our coins. So let's go ahead and just use the price point that's correlating to that horizontal at 23,879. We'll type that into trigger price here. So 23,879. Now we need to choose a price that BitGet is going to sell our coins. So let's go lower than our trigger price here. I'll just go ahead and do 23,000. Just make sure to leave enough breathing room between your limit price and the trigger price. That way, if price action hits your trigger price, BitGet has enough time to place this order. If price action is moving really fast and manages to get below your limit price before BitGet places the order, then your order will simply be placed on the order book and your coins won't sell. Also keep in mind that if there's a better price point available in the order book when your trigger price gets hit, your coins will sell for a better price than what you specify as your limit order. So in my case here, if price action was to drift down and hit my trigger price, my coins will sell for 23,000 or better off the order book if there's a better price point available. Now we need to choose the amount of the asset that we wish to sell and I'll do the same thing as last time, not point, not, not three, three. And then once we have this set up the way that we want it, we'll click on sell. We'll get our order confirmation pop-up window here confirming that we've set a trigger order. The trigger price is going to be 23,879. So if price action hits this price point, it's going to place an order to sell our coins at 23,000 or better off the order book. And if everything checks out, just simply click on confirm. Now we've placed that stop limit order. 
If we want to find the details of this order, we come down here to open orders, click on trigger orders, and here's where we'll find that trigger order. If we want to modify or cancel it, we just click on one of these options under operation. I'll just go ahead and cancel this. Now, as you can see, I just removed that trigger order. At the end of the day, you'll have to do your own technical analysis in order to choose where a stop loss is appropriate for your particular situation. But that's how you get that done. And there you have it. That's how you set up a stop loss on the BitGet Spot Exchange. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also, feel free to check out my other BitGet tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.